this is the place. Somewhere out here, there's a treasure buried. And I think that, judging by the tires and everything else, entire battles took place down here. So my map has brought me somewhere out here. And on top of that, my navigator along with my phone had died. The only place that wasn't looted is probably this one here. The bark tree had collapsed here and something could have fallen from above. Something that had been lying here for a long time. Did you hear that? How old is this box? I'll be damned. This is an artifact. What is it? Damn, it's stuck. It's a lighter. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. I think I found something. Okay, guys. No lights, right? No lights. We better finish before midnight. This looks like some kind of a box. We found him. It's the crystal skull from... Indiana Jones. God damn it, we found him. I'll die right now. I so want to eat. Alex, why do you need a grenade? You know, the mystery of the crystal skull has always been interesting to me. I already got what he looks like. I probably won't be able to exchange him for anything, but on the other hand, we will see if such a head is suitable for testing. What would happen if a grenade lands on your head? A hand grenade remotely strikes everything that surrounds it within 5 meters and it's going to be surrounded by this set of ballistic gel in which there is something similar to blood on the inside. This will be the biggest and most important indicator that you need to hide your head in the sand better. I have 4.8 meters in a straight line here. I will throw a grenade, or rather, place it here, like this. Bam, and I run. Here I run, here I run. And I will be watching from right here. What? Change? I ain't got no change. Who are you gonna call over? Shit, he's a tough nut to crack. Okay, guy. Don't you joke around me too much now. The offensive remote hand grenade contains 116 grams of TNT, and the grenade jacket itself acts as a fragment, meaning there will be such thin fragments. My slow-mo camera stands right there, here's where my iPhone stands, and here stands another iPhone. I will be hiding behind this rock, and as for the grenade, I'll leave it here. Right now, as a fact. Holy smokes! Hey, what the hell? My axe almost got hurt. Look, I'll be damned. This rock got shattered a bit. And what... 
about our guy. What's up, buddy? What's changed? By the way, there are absolutely no changes. You know why? Because he is bald like Bruce Willis from Die Hard. Well, my friend, now is the perfect time to decrease the distance by half. And right here, I will place one more grenade. The first ring of tests for the commander has closed, you know, like an Apple Watch. In short, my friend, like that. You've survived the first, only I can understand, are you a pirate or I just don't see a ship around here? Alrighty then, I will throw the grenade in here. I'll place it right here, the distance is 2.4 meters. Half of that the last time, it was 4.8 then. I can only wish good luck to our pirate. Let's commence. Unbend the antenna, pull the pin, and drop it. Right here. Look, the rock is hot. Hey buddy, how are you? Well, finally something. Just look. Don't be a menace to South Central. Have you seen this movie? I hope this... Oh, look, awesome. Wow, you can clearly see the shrapnel. Here, look, there's a fragment which has practically entered the jaw. No, not the jaw, but into soft tissue. See it? Okay, buddy, you gotta wash up a bit. So that I can show people from YouTube what happened here. You're a mess. See, the fragment has stuck there. Look at this fragment. It's tiny. That's nothing. These might be secondary fragments, although this one on the side, look, you see it? Watch as I dig it out. This is definitely shrapnel. It's entered about one centimeter in. Okay, look at this one here. The fragment is right near the skull, see it? Here. Right near the skull, see it? I'm sorry that I'm digging into your skull. Look at how tiny it is. Anything else, my friend? Here's the neck. One fragment here. One here. There are fragmentation injuries, but to be honest, they're not fatal. That is, no through wounds, no bleeding. We don't see any of that in here. There is soft tissue damage. All in all, maybe some more muscles are damaged, but it's not fatal. You know that pirates wear two earrings? So you'll be our pirate. In short, the night is coming. We gotta wrap it up. By the way, what if you place a grenade into this faceted glass cup. Who knows what it's called? And if you do know, then we'll make an episode like that. Just post a comment down below. I've placed the head of our pirate Jack the Sparrow in the middle to see him better. 
I'll place the grenade down here and I'll book it very quickly. Hey, where is he? Ah, here he is. Damn. Holy moly. Holy Jesus. Fine. We're starting the dissection. A superficial review looks quite sad. Generally speaking, you know, I'm afraid that YouTube could ban you for that. Just know that you don't want to have your face near a grenade.